हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू जुडिसी क्लासेस सो आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दी हंड्रेड डे हंड्रेड वीडियोस बायो फार्मास्यूटिक्स सेक्शन सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी दी फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ द डे सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद आर फर्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज गोइंग टू बी इंट्रोडक्शन टू योर ड्रग एब्जॉर्बन ओके सो नंबर वन थिंग सो वट एग्जैक्टली मीन्स दी ड्रग एब्जॉर्बन so when the drug is administered and its movement from the site of administration to till the point it reaches the systemic circulation that is going to be your absorption so number one thing that is going to happen will be the drug release followed by the dis uh, dissolution then absorption followed by drug when reaches the systemic circulation now there is a high chance if the drug is in smaller size and a hydrophilic drug then there is a high chance it is going to get eliminated as soon as possible right the excretion will be facilitated towards through, through the urine only but if not the distribution is going to happen along with the distribution the metabolism after which will start if the distribution has started it can be into the uh, tissue binding can be there else the protein binding will be there tissue binding or the protein binding if it is the protein binding then it is going to turn your drug into an inactive metabolite inactive complex more better if we say but if there is a tissue binding that we can see then there will be the pharmacological or the clinical effect that will be observed so this is going to be a basic passage whereby you can study all the ADME process we can see okay so while speaking of the drug absorption it is going to the process of movement of unchanged drug from the site of administration now the site of administration can vary based on what route of administration are you taking on along with the when it reaches the systemic circulation now when it is going to reach the systemic circulation number one thing the passage of the drug has to cross the cell membrane we all know right based on the nature of your drug be it hydrophilic be it lipophilic be it any form of the drug it has to be able to cross the cell membrane right so the basic structure is here where we can see if the drug is going to be lipophilic then it is going to follow the concept of like dissolves like there is going to be no issue for the drug to be able to pass through the cell membrane which is made up of number 1 biphospholipid layer and second will be your proteins so the being non polar or lipophilic in nature they are going to allow the drug to be able to pass through these membrane in which we have the polar heads and the non polar tails we have the lipids and proteins this is going to be the fluid mosaic as per the fluid mosaic model whereby this is a sandwich model of the biphospholipid layer along with your protein so the basic concept is the permeability drug will be able to permeate only if it is of the desired size as well as it should be lipophilic in nature so this is the major mechanism for the lipophilic drugs okay next for the drug absorption we have multiple transport mechanisms these all are very important for you all know number one is going to be the paracellular transport the transport which is going to facilitate through the tight junctions second one is going to be the transcellular pathway which is going to be across the cell right movement will be across the cell second one is going to be your actually persorption now this persorption is also included back in the paracellular transport because that occurs mainly through either persorption or mainly it occurs through the tight junctions where we can see between the adjacent layer of the cells the drug is going to pass through these tight junctions right persorption means we will have some temporary openings that can be of a dead enterocyte which we can see here so these temporary openings are going to facilitate the entry of the drug and that will be able to pass through the cell membrane so for that that we have different drug absorption mechanisms in line with the type of the nature of the drug and the size of the drug also right so in the paracellular transcellular or the persorption we have one three more categories we place them into number one is going to be the transcellular which i have just mentioned will be across the cell so it is also referred to as intracellular transport number second will be the paracellular or intercellular that means it is going to be between the tight junctions it can be through either permeation through the tight junctions or through persorption that is the temporary openings that facilitate the entry of the drug number third will be your vesicular transport just like the amoeba which functions for engulfing the food material using the endocytosis process so we have phagocytosis as well as 
pinocytosis okay phagocytosis will be referred to as your cell eating process and pinocytosis will be referred to as your cell drinking process so all these absorption mechanisms i will cover one by one in the upcoming videos so stay tuned for upcoming videos